What is going on? My name is Mike and this is all about pressure washing. Today, I'm going to answer the question, can you soft wash with a pressure washer? Now, this is a very common question and one that actually has a lot of debate surrounding it simply because people usually have pretty strong feelings about the way they do their job, the equipment that they use and the processes that they use when they're doing that job. And if you're new to the game and you've got any questions like this, you should definitely check out how to wash the complete guide. Aaron Parker, Cody Yarbrough, Justin Rogers and myself have put together the number one selling pressure washing and soft washing training in the world. And we cover everything from the chemicals to use, what ratios and how to mix them, as well as how to apply them. And we teach you how to wash every surface from the roof to the curb at any residential property. We go over the equipment. We do on-site job walkthroughs. We share with you pro tips and basically get you up to speed on everything that you need to know to get out there and hit the ground running. And because you're watching this right now, I'm going to give you $50 off the course. You can use promo code SPRING50 and there is a link in the description below. Okay. Okay, so there are two things that you're probably going to hear from homeowners at some point in your business. And the first is that pressure washing is bad and will cause damage to their house. Or the exact opposite, that you absolutely have to have high pressure in order to clean their house properly. And amazingly enough, both of these statements are correct to some degree. So yes, excessive pressure can cause damage in the hands of an untrained person. But nine times out of ten, you're not going to need pressure when you're cleaning most surfaces at a residential property. One of the few exceptions is obviously obviously going to be doing flat work, cleaning things like sidewalks, driveways, and patios. The beautiful thing about using a pressure washer is you have the ability to apply pressure when needed, but you also have the ability to safely and softly apply your detergents with a downstream injector or an upstream injector, or you can use an X-Jet. And most of the time when we're cleaning residential properties, we don't even put a high pressure tip on our guns. We use low pressure tips. We use long range tips. And most of the time our unloaders are turned back. So we really are applying very little pressure to the surfaces that are being cleaned. And the main reason for this is because you don't need a lot of pressure because the detergents used in the cleaning process do the bulk of the work. So using the right detergent or chemical is usually more than sufficient to make up for the lower PSI. Now, most professional cleaning companies use professional detergents, soaps and surfactants, and what these do is they help to break down the bonds between the surface that you're cleaning and the nastiness on that surface, like stains, mold, mildew, things like that. And as the detergent breaks up these bonds, it allows the lower pressure to be more effective in removing and rinsing the surface. Unfortunately, there are those that believe you have to have pressure in order to clean properly, or you have to pull out a ladder so you can climb up that ladder to the top of the house and blast the hell out of it. And that is an old, antiquated way of thinking and simply wrong. Yeah, you can put pressure on a surface and you can remove the pollutants and you can make it look clean. You can also damage that surface. Pressure doesn't kill organics and with organics, which are living organisms, they're going to grow right back if you don't kill the root. And this is why we use detergents that actually kill as well as aid in the removal of these organics and other surface pollutants. Utilizing the right detergents and chemicals is going to save you a tremendous amount of time and money over the course of your business life. So the only real downside of using a pressure washing system compared to using a soft wash system is the strength of the chemical you're able to apply to the surface being clean. But really, there are only a few surfaces that you encounter that need something stronger than what a pressure washer and a downstream injector can do. Something really bad like uh, nasty stucco or when you're cleaning a roof, and then you're definitely going to need a dedicated soft wash pump for those scenarios. Obviously, there are pros and cons to both. Both serve a purpose, and that's why we have both systems on all of our trailers, because you always want to be prepared at every job you show up for. And basically, the whole point of this video was answering the question, can you soft wash using a pressure washer? And the answer is absolutely you can, because like we said earlier, it's more about the detergent, it's more about the chemical than the pressure. And I really hope this video helped. If you are interested, check out the first link in the description below for how to wash the complete guide. We're running a special right now, 50 bucks off you can use promo code spring 50 so that's about it guys i really appreciate you watching and i hope you have a great day